Welcome back to the Boiler Studio. My name is Richard Firth. We've got the next bite size tutorial in the how to series. Last time Roy covered the chimney sweep mode. Let me hand you over to Roy for the next installment. Hi guys, welcome back to the Viva Train Academy over in Halifax. And today we're going to carry on with another video in our how-to series. What we're going to be looking at today is how to check a diverter motor without using a multimeter. We're going to be doing it on this Potterton Assure boiler. And for those guys that know, it's the same as a Baxi 800, Baxi 600, Baxi Assure and the main Eco Compact. But the diverter motor in this boiler is the same that's used on a lot of boilers out there. So the Carey use it, Ideal have used it, Glowworm have used it, the Baxi range use it in a lot of their boilers. So without further ado, we'll get the front off the boiler. I've already slackened the two screws off, so I'm just going to pop that out, out the way. So the scenario is Mrs Miggins has complained that she's got heating but no hot water or she's got hot water but no heating. The first thing I need to establish is does the boiler know that there's a hot water or a heating demand? So I'm just going to grab the clock. So I've got an EPH Combi Pack 4 which is a wireless control. So I'm just going to drop the front. I'm going to put the uh, heating onto manual. So I'm just pushing the manual button. So what should happen once the signal goes from the control it should action the boiler and we've got on the display there a radiator symbol which is flashing. So that means that I know the boiler and the boiler knows that we've got a heating demand. So the next thing, I'm going to pop the hot tap on. And now the tap symbol's flashing. So we know we've got a hot water demand. So I know we've got both heating and hot water. So from the point of view of fault finding, we know the boiler knows it's got a demand. What we need to establish is why aren't we getting heating or why aren't we getting hot water. So I'm just going to pop that tap off a second while I drop the front. I'm going to drop the front down and I'm just going to remove the diverter motor. It's quite simple. There's a little pin, a little clip that holds it in and then I can pop the motor out and I've got the motor out now. So I've got it in heating demand. So I'm just going to get a little screwdriver to point this out. So the little brass pin there, that should be up to the top there and it is. I can't push that down so that's actually now in heating position. So all I'm going to do is turn the hot tap on. So what should happen now, that pin should go back inside. So that pin's retracted down inside there to tell me it's gone to hot water position. When I turn the tap off, that comes back out. This is a working motor, so we know that it's operating. So what you'd actually get out in the field is a problem with either the pin doesn't come out or doesn't go back in. So you know that it's stuck in heating or hot water position. We're going to do a further set, series of videos telling you how to test that with a multimeter going further forward. But that's just a quick check to prove if it's the motor that's causing us the problem. So that's another one of our how-to series. So until next time, thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.